In less than 20 years, the number of people over the age of 65 will outnumber children in the United States. This new aging center will position WKU as a regional leader in aging science. The Center for Applied Science and Health and Aging is already sparking new research opportunities. There's some faculty members who actually met at the ribbon cutting, found out they have very similar interests, aging related. We are now in the process of, of getting them on board with the center. That's exactly the kind of collaboration this space at the Center for Research and Development on Nashville Road was designed for. We thought, well, let's, let's create this center where we can have that synergy of all of these different disciplines, all these different faculty members. A graduate class on cognitive linguistics disorders is already getting the community involved by offering a 10-week study on dementia prevention and awareness. This is looking at people who are really healthy and who are doing well, who are living independently in the community. We're just looking to have practical application for all students involved and um, while doing that we want to benefit every participant and um, possibly improve memory. It's the type of research the center plans to do more of in the future and the community will play a big part. I've been really encouraged by um, the amount of people who are willing to give their time to helping us with research. With the success of bingo size over the past five years, Dr. Crandall says the center will allow them to broaden their scope of work, putting student-centered applied research front and center at WKU. The timing couldn't have been any better um, for the creation of CASHA and then the new strategic plan and climbing to greater heights and all the other things that we're trying to do. The Let's Talk About Memory study begins October 2nd. If you are 55 or over with no neurological issues and would like to be included, call 270-745-8998. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.